All right. So thank you guys all for tuning in. The show is officially over. But, um, you know, I, 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 like I said earlier, I want to share my story with, with uh, what's happened in my past with the police because it's been a rough week for me. And go ahead, go ahead and zoom in on me. It's been a rough week for me, just as it's been a rough, rough week for everybody else. And the stuff that happened with George, George Floyd, um, it was, it was terrible. It was horrible. And you know, unfortunately, as a black man in America, I, you know, we have those experiences. Um, I had an experience uh, several years ago in Seminole County. It wasn't in. Uh, it wasn't in Orange County, thank goodness. Uh, my experience with the Orange County police and the Orlando police has always been cordial and great, you know, fortunately. Um, at this particular time, I was in Castleberry. Um, I was at LA Fitness. I met my mother at the LA Fitness to work out. I was an executive at a company, so I went in in a suit. I met my mother, she was in workout clothes. We met in the park a lot. And as we were crossing the street, we walked in front of a squad car. So the squad car, the guy in the squad car, the cop was just stared us down as we walked in front of him. So I guess he was upset that we, you know, maybe we jumped in front of him. We wasn't paying attention. I don't know. So I went in to change. And as I was halfway changing, and it doesn't get cold in Florida, but that day was about maybe in the 50s. So it was, it was cold enough. So as I was halfway changing, police officer comes into the, to the dressing room, tells me to come out. So now I come out, <laughs> I'm wearing half athletic clothes, half dress clothes. The whole gym is staring at me. And as I come out, I see my mother's also out. He just wants to run my information and he's questioning me and he's making me stay by the car. Um, so now I'm, I'm horrified. I'm embarrassed. Most of all, I'm scared because I don't know what's going to happen. And I feel almost like less than a man because I have my mom there. So now I might get arrested in front of my mom for something that I didn't do. I don't, I don't want my mom to ever look bad at me. You know, nobody wants their mom to look bad at me. You know what I mean? And so after they, he looked through my wallet. He, he wanted, I think he, I can't remember if he wanted her to open, he wanted me to open my car, which car was mine, check the car, check the tags. And then he said, okay, you could go. So I could go. What do you mean I could go? What was that? What was that about? Oh, nothing. You could go. No, tell me what, what was that about? What did I do? Why did you do that? Why did you pull us out of the gym? Oh, you fit the description. What, what was the description? <laughs> Uh, yeah, there was nothing. There was somebody that, that went into the bank and caused some problems and you fit the description. So you saw us walk into the gym. I'm wearing a suit. You know, my mom's wearing um, workout clothes. What is the description? <laughs> Please let me, help me understand. No, no, nothing. You're right. Whatever. So um, I did write a letter, a, a strongly worded letter to the Castleberry police. And I will say that they responded and apologized. You know what I'm saying? So I will give them that credit. But I, I just wanted to say, I wanted to share my story because that story, you know, that could have went any, any kind of way. You know what I mean? If, if um, I had the right to be upset for being pulled out for not doing anything, had I not reacted the right way, had he been in a bad mood, who knows what could have happened? And I don't want to speculate. You know what I mean? Um, what I wanted to do, what I do want to say is, I love police. We need police officers. I understand police officers. And police officers need to be, they need to be tough sometimes, right? They need to be tough. Because if there is a situation when you need a, a police officer to help you, you don't want a you want the toughest police car, right? So we understand that. However, what I think needs to happen is that the the police officers that know those guys that's in their unit that go over the line, that sometimes they have that tendency to to be a little bit more aggressive than need to be, or to abuse the situation. Those guys need to speak up. 
I saw somebody post something that says you can have, if you have a thousand good cops and 10 bad cops, and those thousand good cops know about those 10 bad cops, then you really have a thousand and ten bad cops. So with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna just leave it like that. I think you know, I understand that they have a stressful job. We need them in the community. And honestly, I, I, I served in the military, so I understand, you know, they're gonna be on the edge sometimes. But but you know, we pay we pay your salary. You're here to serve and protect us. And we're part of the community. Um, so I just wanted to share that experience because I, I I believe in peace, I believe in unity, and I love the beautiful movement that's happening right now, where all people and all colors and everybody is getting together to fight for justice, right? But at the same time, at the same time, I couldn't be quiet because I think it's important for people to understand that it's always going to be different for people that look like me and Tron until something change is, you know what I'm saying? So everybody could, you know, uh, Hey, I, like I said, I wasn't in a suit. I was a, a, a junior executive at a company and, you know, clean record in the gym working out and it happened to me. And now I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't want to go back to that gym because I'm embarrassed. You know what I mean? Everybody in that gym thinks I'm a thug. So um, just wanted to share that story. It was is too too much going on. Too many people have feelings for me to be quiet and to act like it's not going on. And I didn't feel right saying that. So I wanted to share my thoughts. Um, I, I hope uh, we move through this together. I believe this time we will because we need everybody speaking up. We need everybody working through it. We need everybody sharing their stories so that other people could understand, you know, what's going on. There is other stuff going on, you know, so that's it. All right. Thank you they for wanted... sharing. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. No problem. I, uh, I just want to add, I mean, the show is over. This is just behind the scenes. This is the behind the scenes. So, something that you said is that you wrote a letter and if anyone listening that can take something away from this is that you're going to make change by using your voice. Write yeah. letters, write letters to your um, local uh, commissioners, mayor's office. Be heard because if you don't like what you're seeing, you have to be the voice. Going along with that is voting, you know? That's, that's not an immediate gratification, but those are steps that we can take together to make change. Are you, uh, who, me? How about that? No, I uh, thought Lori was saying. No, I was just nodding. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's not my only story, but that's the one that I, I, I've had other stories with the, with the police officer. Some guns being drawn on me just for you know, being a designated driver and pulling over and stuff like that. But I'm not going to get into all of that because I'm not about cop by bashing and I'm not about the looting and the violence that's going on. That's nonsense. That's crazy. And yeah. it's, it's outright stupid because it's not changing anything. You know what I'm saying? I understand that people are mad and angry. I'm mad and angry too. You know what I'm saying? But what Jessica said is there's a way to handle that. There's a way to make the change and that's by using your voice and, you know, like what you said, the show is over. This is our public service announcement. <laughs> and, um, you know, thank you guys for listening. But I just wanted to share that one because the thing that resonated the most is I, I was with my mother and Floyd, uh, and uh, George Floyd was calling for his mother at that time. Yes. And yes. and I had, a, I, I had a headache this whole week, you know, just, just thinking about that. So, all right. Thank you, guys. We love you guys. Stay healthy. Stay safe and stay fierce.